General Dynamics Electric Boat GDEB is a subsidiary of General Dynamics Corporation. It has been the primary builder of submarines for the United States Navy for more than 100 years. The company's main facilities are a shipyard in Groton, Connecticut, a hull fabrication and outfitting facility in Quonset Point, Rhode Island, and a design and engineering facility in New London, Connecticut. History The company was founded in 1899 by Isaac Rice as the Electric Boat Company to build John Philip Holland's submersible ship designs, which were developed at Lewis Nixon's Crescent Shipyard in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Holland VI was the first submarine that this shipyard built, which became the USS Holland when it was commissioned into the United States Navy on April 11, 1900 the first submarine to be officially commissioned. The success of Holland VI created a demand for follow-up models a class or plunger class that began with the prototype submersible Fulton built at Electric Boat EB. Some foreign navies were interested in John Holland's latest submarine designs, and so purchased the rights to build them under licensing contracts through EB. These included the United Kingdom's Royal Navy, the Imperial Japanese Navy, the Imperial Russian Navy, and the Royal Netherlands Navy. During the World War I era, the company and its subsidiaries notably Elko built 85 submarines via subcontractors and 722 submarine chasers for the U.S. Navy, and 580 80-foot motor launchers for the British Royal Navy. After the war, the U.S. Navy did not order another submarine until Cuttlefish in 1931. During World War II, the company built 74 submarines, while Elko built nearly 400 PT boats, and Electric Boat ranked 77th among United States corporations in the value of World War II military production contracts. In 1952, Electric Boat was reorganized as General Dynamics Corporation under John J. Hopkins. General Dynamics acquired Convair the following year, and the holding company assumed the General Dynamics. Name while the submarine building operation reverted to the Electric Boat name. Electric Boat built the first nuclear submarine USS Nautilus, which was launched in January 1954, and the first ballistic missile submarine USS George Washington in 1959. Submarines of the Ohio, Los Angeles, Seawolf, and Virginia classes were also constructed by Electric Boat. In 2002, EB conducted preservation work on Nautilus, preparing her for her berth at the U.S. Navy Submarine Force Library and Museum in Groton, Connecticut where she now resides as a museum. Electric Boat's first submarine Holland was scrapped in 1932. Electric Boat overhauls and undertakes repair work on fast attack class boats. The company built the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines and Seawolf-class submarines, as well as others. In April 2014, EB was awarded a $17.8 billion contract with Naval Sea Systems Command for 10 Block IV Virginia class attack submarines. It is the largest single shipbuilding contract in the service's history. The company builds the submarine along with Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding. The boats of Block IV Virginias will cost less than Block III, as Electric Boat reduced the cost of the submarines by increasing efficiency in the construction process. The submarines of this type will build on the improvements to allow the boats to spend less time in the yard. Topic: 1980s structural welding defect cover-up. In the early 1980s, structural welding defects had been covered up by falsified inspection records, and this led to significant delays and expenses in the delivery of several submarines being built at EB Shipyard. In some cases, the repairs resulted in practically dismantling and then rebuilding what had been a nearly completed submarine. The yard tried to pass the vast cost overruns directly onto the Navy, while Admiral Hyman G. Rickover demanded from Electric Boat's general manager P. Tackies Veliotis that the yard make good on its «shoddy» workmanship. The Navy eventually settled with General Dynamics in 1981, paying out $634 million of $843 million in Los Angeles-class submarine cost overrun and reconstruction claims. As it happened, the Navy was also the yard's insurer, liable to compensate the company for losses and other mishaps. The concept of reimbursing General Dynamics under these conditions was initially considered preposterous. In the words of Secretary of the Navy John Lehman, but the eventual, legal basis of General Dynamics reimbursement claims to the Navy for the company's poor workmanship included insurance compensation. 
Veliotis was subsequently indicted by a federal grand jury under racketeering and fraud charges in 1983 for demanding $1.3 million in kickbacks from a subcontractor. He escaped into exile and a life of luxury in his native Greece, where he remained a fugitive from U.S. justice. <laughs> Ships built Topic: Cachalot class. Topic: Porpoise class. Topic: Salmon class. Topic: Sargo class. Topic Tambor class Topic Mackerel class Topic Gato class Topic Balau class Topic Nautilus class Topic Los Angeles class Topic Ohio class Topic Sea Wolf class equals 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 virginia class